Today we're checking out the Moore 5053 preamp pedal. I want to thank Moore and you guys for this. Uh, Moore asked if uh, we would be interested to check out all 10 of these new preamp pedals, and I said that seemed a bit much. There's a lot of them. So I asked you guys which ones would you pick, and, and you guys on Instagram and Facebook pick four of these. I pick one of these, and we'll be doing all five of these in a series, starting with this one, the, uh, the 5053, which as you can probably tell from, what, from what, how it's named and how it looks, it's uh, a kind of a clone or a uh, you know homage to the... Uh, uh, homage uh, to the uh, the uh, 5150 or the 6505 or the new 5150 amps either one of them uh, it's definitely marking that sound so why is it unique or why is it interesting well first off it's a preamp pedal not a regular pedal and what does that mean well there's a couple things let's get into it real quick uh, like any pedal you turn it on and you have gain and then of course bypass this one actually has two channels though so you have a red high gain channel and a blue low gain channel much like the amp However, there's a couple features that are really cool. First, all the knobs can remember where they are. So if I set my sound up on my blue channel and then I go to the red channel and set this sound up, they'll remember where they are. So I don't have to share the EQ volume and gain, they're independent of each other. The other cool feature is, you know, instead of just using this blue channel or using the red channel and then off, if I hold down this plunger for just a second, now I can actually toggle between the two. So you could do that live or what I was doing and I really enjoyed it was using it to make the blue channel clean, use the red channel as the gain. But before I go, I want to show one last feature that's really cool. So I, obviously you can toggle between the two channels or turn them off, but there's even one more feature. You can use this button and hold it down and it'll start flashing. When it's flashing, now it's in cabinet simulator mode. So now all the other features apply. So you can turn the pedal off or on, or like I said, hold down and toggle between the two channels. But now it's using a Cabot simulator. So you can run this out straight into a PA. So now I'm gonna give you a sample of this pedal, um, running it straight from this. Instead of into the LBX, I'll be running it straight into the camera. No uh, Pro Tools, no mixing, just is what you're gonna get, uh, just to show you how different it can sound when you use the cabinet. <laughs> I could see where you'd want to pick one or two of these uh, really interesting sounds and keep them in your gig bag for any kind of situation. As always, guys, I want to thank you for your time and know your gear.